quick demo of this video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to implement charts like pie chart and donut chart in your web application using a plugin called chart.js. This is how the pie chart looks like. And this is how the donut chart looks like. We will discuss how it can be done, how you can change the segment's color, how you can change that animation effect, how you can speed up the animation, how you can speed up the animation, and how you can uh, show your data in these charts. Hi all, welcome to Donut Mob. In this video, I will show you how to make a donut chart and pie diagram using jQuery plugin called chart.js so let's get started to test this you just need one browser and a text editor that's it in my case i use sublime text editor it's simple and cute that's why i use it apart from these two tools you just need jquery and chart.js file in my case you can see that in my file directory I have chart.minjs file here and jQuery uh, latest version is here also and this is the HTML page index uh, don't worry you can download this uh, source code from the link given below in video description without further background explanation let me show you how it works in browser okay First of all, I will show you how .NET Chart works in my Chrome browser. Right click on the editor, then click on open in browser. Boom. That's it. You see that animation? If you mouse over a slice, you can see the uh, slice description with uh, value here you can see red 700 green 500 yellow 400 and blue 600 from the chart itself it's clear that the area is proportional to the slice value that's that is a slice with a larger value will have more slice area now i will explain how it works using my source code okay this is my index html starting with html tag inside the head tag we have two script file references first one is the jquery library second one is the plugin that is chart.js inside the body we have only one html element that is canvas it has an ID of pie chart. Then rest of the code is inside the script tag. First of all, we have a variable called pie chart canvas. It stores the 2D context of the canvas. Then we have a pie chart variable that is initialized with the function chart. This defined inside the chart JS, and we will pass the 2D context as a variable. Then we have the uh, pie data. It is an array of objects, and each object has four, val four uh, attributes that is, value, color, highlight, and label. In, in this case, we have three, uh, four objects, and each object has value is. To represent the value based on the value we the plugin uh, assigns percentage of that uh, circle to a slice okay then the color color means the background color for that slice and highlight is the highlight color that means the color when we mouse over that uh, slice in our case we have same background color as the uh, highlight background color also 
and finally we have a label is to describe the slice here we have uh, it's like red green yellow and blue for the purpose of demo i have used hard coded array in your case you need to pass a data from server as json or other data type into the plugin okay now we have another variable pi options this is where we define characteristics and animation style of our chart okay first we have segment show stroke it can have values uh, true or false it means do we need a stroke uh, between the segment here you can see a stroke between these red and blue segments segment stroke color means uh, the color for this stroke now we have triple f that's why this stroke has a white color here okay then the stroke width it means the width of the stroke here it is two pixel and next one is very important percentage inner cutout we can see that here it is actually a full circle and 50 percentage of the circle from the inner side is cut out and that's why we feel like a donut chart instead of uh, donut chart if you want the uh, pie chart you can set it as uh, zero then if you refresh the page you can see a pie chart okay that's it then after that you can see animation steps here here it is uh, 100 if you change if you increase the value of animation steps the uh, animation will be more slower if i increase to uh, 500 or something the animation will be slower than previous case okay yes that's it and then uh, animation is it's an uh, effect in the uh, plugin it is is outbounds that means that the defines the uh, animation you can see after full stretch it bounces yes that's it and then after that animate true animate true means if we set to false the animation will not be there and animate scale means the uh, do we need to uh, show the uh, chart like uh, coming from the center of the uh, circle false if we set to true we can see like it is coming from the center of the circle yes that's it and uh, do we need it as responsive and the our uh, main aspect ratio means do we need that uh, a canvas uh, with according to its content or its parent and uh, finally we have a legend template means it, basically the template that defines the template for the uh, chart here the template does things like this uh, red uh, color red uh, that means segment uh, description uh, with value is shown through the template that you can see here uh, you don't want to change that and after that finally we are calling the donut uh, function for drawing the uh, uh, chart if you want it as a donut chart you can set it as 500 or 600 according to use that's it guys thanks for watching this uh, video tutorial on donut chart and pie chart using chart.js and you can download this source code with uh, required uh, script files from the link given below in video description and uh, please be subscribed to my channel dotnet mob for awesome videos like this 
and don't forget to comment your feedbacks in the comment box also please like and share the video have a nice day bye